All right, yep, watching the trailer for Starship Troopers Extermination. Uh, official trailer, IGN FanFest 2023, coming at us from IGN. I'm liking the video. So I did um, a real-time strategy game where you controlled the troops and moved them and fought within the Starship Troopers universe in 2022. This one is a first-person shooter. Uh, do your part for the mobile in, in the mobile infantry in Starship Troopers Extermination, a co-op FPS that puts you on the far-off front lines of an all-out battle against the bugs. Let's check it out. We got a 1 minute and 24 second trailer. Are you ready? Here we go. You show incredible resolve, Trooper, doing your part for the mobile infantry of the Terran Federation. But it's time to take the next step and join the elite in the deep space vanguard. All right. Will you rain death from above as an assault unit? <laughs> Provide additional cover and suppressing fire as a heavy infantry. Or support troopers with medical aid and critical resources. Whatever your strengths, the Deep Space Vanguard is the place for you. Once your boots on the ground, the infestation will feel relentless. We'll need you to gather resources and establish footholds so we can take back colonies for the Federation. Let's get to work, Trooper. Fortify your defense. We need some defenses here. Remember, the only good bug is a dead bug. That's right. The only good bug is a dead bug. Uh, and then what is this? Would you like to know more? <laughs> awesome. So wish listed on Steam. Um, what did you think of the graphics? I've heard people complain of the graphics. The graphics looked fine. It was the narration voice that was just weird. <laughs> Yeah, that actually, yeah, I would it say. Like, I think I think like that's that intentional. All the fascist propaganda. Oh, but that that's intentional because because the books were written that way, so. No, uh, no, and but still, it's it's not really like the movies, you know. Like even when in the movies, like when you know there is that type, like that description. Yeah. It kind yeah. of gives you the idea of that, but this one look more like. Um, like a, something that you would have on TV as a propaganda, you know? Yeah. I don't know, it just felt weird and awkward, but the graphics were okay, I thought. About yeah, I mean, not, yeah, I mean, like, I don't think that they're, they're not Call of Duty graphics, but I think that they definitely work for what they're doing, especially with the aesthetic of the way the bugs look. Yeah. So, uh, I'm just, I was just uh, mentioning it because somebody, somebody said to me, no. once, like, oh, I, I didn't think the graphics look so good. And I was like, well, I mean, for what it is. I think it's great. It looks like actually. an average movie, you know, yeah. nothing. Yeah. So we have an ad coming up, and then we're going to come back. We'll go through the. We'll give our final statements on this one. Go through the comments, and um, yeah, Take and then we'll night. end it off. End it off for the night. So we will see you after these short messages. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> All right, there we are. Okay, so yeah, I th uh, we were so we're back from the um, intermission there. Uh, yeah, basically the graphics. Somebody had, had mentioned them to me, but I think it's people who play like Call of Duty and stuff expect that. This is kind of between Call of Duty and Borderlands type of graphics, and I think it works better for the aesthetic just because it's bugs. Like if it were high quality, like detailed, like almost photorealistic type graphics. It, it might look goofy, and then you kind of give it a little, little bit of cartoonish look to make it so that way the bugs look okay. Um, and yeah, then basically, yeah, just like a co-op shooter where you do matches and you just kill some bugs. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, this is a good game. It was a book. It was a book series, then a movie series, and now games. I mean, it's, yeah, I, I think it looks pretty cool, and it's going to be fun to get in there and squash some bugs. So um, I think it was good. Uh, do you agree? What do you have to say about it? Um. So, does this? How does this have something to do with Star Wars? Not Star Wars. Starship Troopers. It's a completely different thing. Starship. I that the Starship. Uh, I don't know. I'm probably tired. I so I kept thinking that it was 
like Star Wars, and I was like, but why are they using like guns? Yeah, no, it's Starship Troopers, completely different property. <laughs> well, guys, I, I, it's like almost midnight. Uh, you know, you gotta forgive me, and my son here is. No, I mean, are you? Do you mean like uh, just about this trailer or in general? No, no, this trailer. You know, I told you before. I said the yeah. graphic looks okay. The game looks like an average game, and that you would just play, Probably, you know, to yeah. have fun. It doesn't seem anything. Super I don't think it. I, I don't think it has a campaign. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't have mean, a, like a story. Yeah, it doesn't have a story. It's just where you play matches. Oh, see, then where you where you load in and just fight fight off the bugs. So, so it's completely multiplayer focused, um, which is fine. You know, um, this is what it looks like. It doesn't say anything about there being a campaign or anything. So, um, but yeah, so uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, Ellie agrees, I think, and so let's check out, probably not a game that you would play, <laughs> Ellie, but <laughs> would watch me play, maybe. Uh, let's check out the comments, though. Uh, don't be too excited, guys. This game looks like it's going to have a lot of bugs. <laughs> <laughs> That's like nice. That. Yeah, I like that. Uh, almost 20 years, and they finally make another Starship Troopers game. Starship Troopers Terran Command... Yeah, came out. That's the one that I... That's the one that I reviewed. Uh... Shooter, and we needed a yeah. It's about damn time we got a shooter for this universe. It's a perfect storyline for a multiplayer space FPS. There already was a shooter. He said multiplayer. Okay, yeah. Um, uh, it's always down. I'm always down to see more Starship Troopers. Really, seriously, this is a great series of movies and games and just everything to be able to build off of. Um, it's great to see Starship Troopers getting the much deserved love. A classic. Let's see if they also get a quality campy movie again. Um, yeah. Uh, all right. So that finishes off for this one. You can check this one out. Oh, yeah. It doesn't have a release date. Well, you can pre-order it right now on Steam, and I think it's looking good. I think it's looking good. We'll have to wait and see when it comes out to give the final review score and stuff, but I think that it looks pretty good. I'm hoping to be able to review this one whenever they say that it's coming out. It might come out this year. It might come out next year. I don't know. Like, I haven't heard anything about... I mean, does it say it's coming out? No. It, this is just thing so we don't know when it's coming out but if it comes out this year or next year hopefully i can review it so check it out mm -hmm. pre-order it on steam